In this video, you will learn how to install your Stream Deck Mini, regular Stream Deck, or Stream Deck XL. I'll be using the XL today, but they all work exactly the same. You'll install it, you'll download the software, and you'll update the firmware on the device so that you can go in and program all those beautiful Stream Deck buttons to do whatever the heck you want, okay? First things first, let's talk about the install of the devices. So I've got two of them. I've got the regular Stream Deck here I'm doing this video with and the XL over here. I recommend placing them where they are easily within reach while you're recording your videos, while you are streaming or while you are working. So position them in the most convenient spot to be punching those buttons all the time. It's life changing. You plug this device into a USB 2 jack not a USB 3 jack. You do not need to use up one of your USB 3 jacks for this device. It only needs USB 2, so you can save those USB 3 jacks for other things such as capture cards, webcams, you name it, okay? If you have not already decided on which Stream Deck you wanna get, that's cool. Links in the description below for the Stream Deck Mini, six keys, the regular Stream Deck, 15 keys, and the 32 key version that I'm gonna go over today, they are identical in terms of their functionality. They just increase the number of buttons as you move up. And also the quality of the cord and the body of the XL one is more premium and is heavier duty than the other two. Okay, that's the only difference. To get the software, go ahead and Google Stream Deck software and the top search result should be the correct one from the official Elgato website. Go ahead and click that. And then once you get there, select your piece of hardware. It's the same for all three devices, by the way, but just select Stream Deck and then select your operating system. And once you do, you'll see the option below to download the official Stream Deck software for your platform. Go ahead and download and install that software on your computer. Cool? At this point, plug in your Stream Deck into your computer into that USB jack. Awesome. Now go ahead and boot up the Stream Deck software, this software right here, and you should have it auto recognize your Stream Deck as you plug it into your computer. Now, side note, if you have multiple Stream Decks plugged into the same computer, you can do this drop down menu and select whichever Stream Deck you want to control. I only have this one plugged into one computer. To update the firmware, update your firmware, guys, before you do any programming of your Stream Deck, please, please, please click that little tiny gear cog button right up here on the top, click the cog, and then click check for updates here under the general tab. Most likely your Stream Deck's been sitting in a warehouse for a year or so, and it does not have the up-to-date firmware. Click that and make sure you're up to date so you get the full functionality out of your Stream Deck before you start programming, okay? This can help you avoid glitches and the button's not working and it fixes bugs because there were a lot of bugs when the Stream Deck originally came out. Sounds good? Once again, link in the description below to the different versions of the Stream Deck and I'm doing a full tutorial series on precisely how to use this device in every platform. Link also in the description to that playlist. I'm teaching you OBS, Stream Deck, functions, game capture, slobs, you name it. It's all gonna be in this tutorial series, link below. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your Stream Deck.